the Navigator Startup just so you can see the screen in action. Um, this is a 10 inch screen to go with the 12 inch uh, gauge cluster. But now you can see over here uh, you've got the miles per hour and your tachometer. You've got the, the sound, I think, what's ever on the radio up top. Um, you can change everything. Trip to fuel economy 5.6, which is actually laughable. It's not true. Um, tire pressure. Now, down below there, it says we're in the driving mode conserve, um, and whatever all those driving modes and their funny names. But yeah, you've got lots of customizable things to do. Uh, so yeah, let's stick this thing on the road. Now, also, up here on the center screen, it's sort of like three different uh, sort of elements. You've got your music up here, um, you've got the navigation right here. If you hit the nav, you can make it the whole screen, which is absolutely massive. Um, audio. Selena Gomez, that was fine. Uh, phone. Now this is this is sort of similar to the Focus RS that I drove before. That it was very easy to use. Uh, Troy and I hooked up my phone in like 10 seconds. Super easy to use. So it's just another thing. It's uh, a nice feature that is easy to use and works well. Um, we've got the heads-up display up here. It says I've got 99 miles uh, to go for gas. I'm in park. I've got zero miles per gas zero miles per hour, time, temperature, I mean, what? <laughs> there's everything up there that I could possibly and need. And also, too, we just plug in a, once you have a destination in here. Yeah, it'll, it'll will be, it pop up it'll there. It'll pop up when you're turn by turn as well on the heads up display. Yeah, it says off route. So once once I would get over here, which is, you know, up there, uh, I think it'll say like, you know, 0 0.02 turn right or turn left. Um, but I mean, look how huge that is. It's essentially like a little iPad in front of you. Um, so we are going to take this thing on the road just to see how it feels. I'm interested to see how sort of the speed of it just because it's so big and heavy. Um, you've got the 10-speed automatic um, which will let you sort of be in the power curve depending on what gear you're in. So here we go. You've got buttons for the trunk and you can move the pedals up and down. Now Troy uh, mentioned here this car has massaging seats and you can adjust them so many different ways. I think it's like five different ways. You have high, you have low. Yeah, so settings. I can feel it on the small of my back. I mean, I I can't imagine driving like going on a long trip and let's say you're two hours in and your back gets a little sore, just turning on the massage. I mean, that's just amazing technology. I feel it on my my left butt cheek right now. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's awesome. When he turn when he turns the massage on, I can feel like the section of the seat sort of moving, just sort of like it's you know kneading my my legs and my back. And when he turns it off. It'll return the seat to where uh, you have the controls of, of where your seat. But that's just awesome. Yeah. So yeah, this is by far like the biggest car I've ever driven. So I'm interested to see how like uh, light on its toes it feels. I mean, 6,000 pounds and a car that has the wheelbase. Turn 100, left now. 131 inch wheelbase car. I mean, huge. I mean, as I as I look into the rear view mirror, I can see so far. Like the I feel like the rear window is like a hundred yards behind me. But yeah, this, this feels nimble. The steering feels nice. Um, I'm in the conserve driving mode, so if I change that, I'll just go to normal, just to see how that feels. As, a, as I'm looking at the heads-up display, it'll show me my speed limit, how fast I'm going, the time, the temperature. Now, also in the gauge cluster, the, there's one sort of circle there. The screen is mostly dark, but it'll show, it shows I'm going 45 miles an hour, but it doesn't have all the other numbers. It just says 46 miles an hour. So you, you don't know how, what the top speed might be, but it's kind of an interesting feature. I've never driven a car that is like that. I mean, it, it feels like a big car, but it doesn't feel any, any bigger than like a SUV or like a Jeep Grand Cherokee I've driven before. Yeah, see, that's nice. It doesn't feel like it would have like a massive turning radius feels very nice. When did we ever think we'd be in a car that is this big that has paddle shifters and you can decide <laughs> what gear you're in? You have 10 different gears to choose from. I mean, technology is amazing. Yes. Okay, I just went over a little bump. It soaks up the bumps very nicely. I mean, I've got massive 22 inch tires and wheels and they, they feel perfectly fine. Bumps don't feel too bad. All right, so we're putting in Excite driving mode. It says responsive and engaging. Massive car and it just went that fast. Wow. 
see, I'm in Excite. It's still holding onto the gear. I'm still up at like 4,000 RPM. That's nice. Right. I'm impressed with this. This is a comfortable car to drive, but like we just saw, you put it in the Excite mode, you can go. I mean, you buy a car like this, you, you don't really care what the gas mileage is. You've got a big family. Mm -hmm. uh, plus, you like to have a nice car with luxury and every possible amenity you could ever think of. Yeah, this is very nice. Okay, one cool feature that this car has, um, it'll park itself. Now, if it says space found on the, on the screen, it release steering wheel, shift to reverse. So, Troy's going to hit reverse. Now, I only control the brake, which sort of decides how fast the car goes. Now, you've got the cameras all around. I am letting off the brake. I'm in reverse. The car is moving. It, on the screen here, you can see the cameras, how every, it is seeing everything. The wheel is moving by itself. You've got the sensors there to see what you got on your right hand side. I, yeah, I am not touching the wheel. I mean, this is very nervous, <laughs> nerve wracking, not being my car. If I just let off the brake, perpendicular park, stop now. Okay, I'm back into drive. I've got my foot on the brake. <laughs> drive forward. So it's sort of like straightening itself out. Stop, shift to reverse. Now it's it's looking at, to be right in the lines. Steer and wheel is moving. That is crazy. Finished. So yeah, you hit park. But now I something I did I didn't talk about the cameras, but if you just go into reverse here, you've got a bunch of different views. That's like your overhead view. You hit that button, that is the camera facing rear. But if you go, there's three different views, and that's sort of facing the two different ways in the back. Um, this one is completely back, so you can go into the 360 camera. I mean, that is just awesome. Yeah, if you hit the plus button, it it'll show you the screen will get bigger. Minus, yeah, that is a nice feature. So yeah, the, the navigator just parked itself. Yeah, you hit the camera button here, and that is the camera facing front. Now, if I'm if I'm going to drive back over to the spot here, that camera is facing front. So yeah, that is the self park feature of the navigator. All right, so that was my drive in a brand new Lincoln Navigator L Reserve, and honestly, it was very nice. Um, I like what Lincoln has done to partner up with Ford. You know, they're all under the same umbrella to give it the same engine and transmission as a Ford Raptor. Um, that car was a blast to drive too. But this car was huge and luxurious and very nice to drive, and it didn't really feel like you're driving like a big awkward SUV. It definitely sort of felt, if it's okay to say, sort of light on its feet. I know it's a giant SUV, uh, but yeah, it was very nice. So definitely nicer than it what I thought it would be. Um, big shout out to Troy at McGuire's for Lincoln. Uh, you can go visit their website at McGuire'sHershey.com. I will flash it on the screen right now. But yeah, this car was pleasant in every way. And if you're looking for a full-size luxury SUV, I would definitely pick this over an Escalade. Um, so yeah, it was very nice. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that little bell to be notified when I upload. So hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.